How I made over 20,000 pounds from one single Instagram post. This is a crazy story. I know it sounds too good to be true, but I promise you it's 100% real. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do it too. So it all started when I was scrolling through my Instagram feed and I come across a guy called Richard Yu. Now, if you haven't heard him before, go give him a follow. His content's really good, but somehow he manages to sell every single post. So that really intrigued me because not many people can do that. So I started following him and he's doing it in a very smart way. He basically leverages clients results or a free training and asks people to engage in the comments below. So I thought, what's the worst that could happen? Let me give this a shot, right? So I went into Canva and I wrote out a script. So step one is make sure it's something your audience would bite your hand off for. What most coaches do on Instagram, which everybody's tired of, they see it day in, day out, is, hey, I've got five spaces left. Anybody want them? It's almost desperate. Nobody's buying that crap. So that's not what you're gonna do. You need something that you can leverage that your audience most definitely want. It just cannot be weak. Most of my audience are coaches consultants or their content creators and most of them have thought about building a funnel so here was my script that I came up with the exact funnel that helped our agency client make 1.054 million in revenue last month want it comment me below and I'll DM it to you immediately then in the caption I just talk about a three-step framework that I take most clients through and just mention that it's free again and get people to comment below me just reiterating the message now, if I had a smaller account than mine, there's two things I would do to eliminate the risk and try and understand if this is an asset that somebody wants, this training, right? I would post on my stories and see what feedback I can get on the training that you're about to launch. And I would also ask existing clients what value you've added to them. What was the best asset or the best training that you took them through so that you've got a little bit of an inkling of what's going to work and what's not. You have to know your audience. You have to know what they desire. Now, this time, most people switch off. They think, oh, I need to go get a course. I need to film stuff. Full transparency. At the point that I posted this, I did not have a free training ready. I literally scrambled together that night to shoot a low budget training. It was on Google Docs. I literally just done it with Google Docs and Loom. The main takeaway is it does not need to be fancy. If they want it and it provides value, they won't care. So what happened when I posted it? Well, instantly I started getting engagement. Me, me, me commenting on the post. Over 150 people in 24 hours messaged that they wanted the training. By the way, my count, you might see 50,000 followers, but my engagement was pretty low. Yes, I was posting content, but my engagement and audience were really just ghosting my content at this point. So it was a massive improvement in leads and engagement than I'd seen on any other post. Step two, content that starts a conversation. I replied back to each single comment saying, do you mind if I shoot you a DM? Now, the reason why you do this is one, to give you permission to start a conversation. It gives the post fuel and engagement and tells the algorithm that this is a post to show to more of your audience. Naturally, they say, yes, why not? Like, I want the thing that you said you would send. So don't try and sell from the post or from the comments. You sell from the conversation in DMs. And this is step three. This is where selling comes in. So I want you to see this as a trade-off because you're now giving them something of value. You have permission to start a conversation conversation with them. So make sure that they feel heard. Make sure you have a conversation as a human, not as some bot or automation. And I want you to use these three magic questions. What you want to ask straight away off the bat is like, what interested you, right? What was the reason why you wanted it? You wait for a response, see what their response is. If it's sincere, oh really? Okay, curious to know, are you working towards any goals at the minute within the business? Again, you wait for a response, you acknowledge the response, you have a chat, and the last golden question is, you said you wanted to achieve this goal, what's stopping you from achieving it at the minute? What's your hurdles, what's your blockers? Based on those three questions, you should have enough info to know whether or not they're a potential good fit for your business. If they're not a good fit, you leave it as is. Enjoy the resource, enjoy the training, let me know what you think, that's it. They're gonna be happy, you can move on. But if they show signs of actually being a good fit customer, have a look at their profile and you just progress the conversation. Hey, you sound like a perfect fit for a program that I'm running at the minute. Are you happy for me to tell you a little bit more about it? If they say yes, look, let's jump on a call, 15 minutes, and I'll explain how it works. Now, full transparency, I struggled with the amount of leads. I definitely wasn't prepared, but I jumped on eight calls. Four of them were just not a good fit, couldn't really afford. Two of them were on the fence, unsure, and two of them said yes. 
Now you might think two out of 150 leads, that's a waste of time. Well, one of them paid 10K up front, was a paid in full offer, and the other paid in thousand pound installments over 15 weeks. So 15K in total was a contract. So in terms of value and time spent, yep, there was loads of things I had to figure out, but I definitely could have sold more, definitely could have been more prepared, but I'm super happy with that result. Just a side note, I would not do these posts every single day. First thing I do is go follow Richard Yu because the way he does it is super smart the second thing i do is this works really well one because okay i've got a quite a decent size following but also i provide tons of value so i very rarely ask my audience to do anything so if i was you i'd start off maybe doing this once to twice a month just seeing what results you get but that's exactly how i generated over twenty thousand pounds from one instagram post and you can do it yourself just as a gesture of goodwill, because you've stayed around this long, there's a link in the description that will take you to the exact Canva template. You can copy it and use that framework for your own business. If you do, please, nothing will make me happier than if you comment below and let me know or let me know on Instagram. If not, hit subscribe. I'm going to be dropping more gems that you can scale your online business.